Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. This is my strawberry bed from last year, and as you can see, I only had three uh, strawberry plants survive the winter, but that's okay, they'll eventually spread. Right now, I'm going to use this for potatoes this year. I was gonna do my potato sacks again, but since this bed is just about empty, I'm going to put potatoes in it and cover it with straw. And uh, in the fall, when I dig them up, I'm gonna plant garlic in here. And then hopefully next year, my strawberries will have spread enough. And also with my potatoes that I did in the bags last year, I did early season potatoes and they do not repeat well with hilling. You need a late to very late season potato that is going to um, so that when you hill it up, it will multiply. Early potatoes don't do that. We're going to use the soil we put in the uh, planter bags that I tried to plant sweet potatoes in last year. We're just going to dump those on top of these potatoes to cover them. And then we're going to cover them with uh, straw throw off from the barn stalls. That's why I emptied them. Let's cover it with straw. You'll bring me the straw over. Now that the uh, potatoes are under cover of soil, we're just going to use this hay, rotten hay from the barn as a cover. Because right now we don't have tree mulch. And the hay is starting to rot, so the potatoes should just poke right up through. We're just going to just cover up this and let nature do its thing. This I'm really tickled about. I thought these died in the uh, drought last year. These are my black currant bushes. They're, they're in the gooseberry family for anybody who wants to know what a black currant is. They're in the same family as the, oops. Hey, that sent up another shoot. Awesome. I won't get more than one or two berries from it, but you know what? That's good. Let's see if the other one lived. And so it did. Look at that. Black currant bushes. Yay. Yay. And look what Papa got me for Mother's Day. It is a semi-dwarf apple tree that grows apparently four to five kinds of apples. Yes, I'm sure it's a hybrid, folks. But they were nice enough to wrap it up for me because it had... I also have, you can't really see it, I have uh, three strawberry plants in there. I put them, here we go. I got an apple tree. Okay, here's my three um, new strawberry plants I planted yesterday to go along with the three that came back from last year. That one's actually got buds on it. I cleaned out the chick crib yesterday with a dustpan and I've just put it over top of this is where I've this is where I've planted my potatoes this year it just seemed easier because this garden was mostly empty so in the fall I'm going to when I dig up the potatoes and I did plant late season potatoes but when I dig them up ow watch my foot with the chain pixie ow when I dig the potatoes up um, the, the, a little bit later I will be putting garlic in and spreading out any sprouts from these strawberries. Okay, see where your spade is? Go back about th six inches and forward towards me about six inches. Right there. This is an apple tree. Um, one of two we bought two years ago at Home Depot when they were in, on sale at the end of June. Two for one. And they died. And the next year, they started growing out of the stump that had been grafted on. So uh, I'm really excited to uh, see this. And look, I just discovered the tenacity of this other apple tree. Briar, look. This one has come back right from the stump. Look at that. Right from the stump, one branch. Right from the stump. Isn't that wonderful? This is the one that Howie bought me yesterday for Mother's Day. And it's a semi-dwarf. We're going to plant it next to the chicken. 
the swimming pool is going down and you can see the corner of my deck there and our property line is only about four or five feet on the other side of the house. So eventually I'd like to have a line of fruit trees coming right up to this chicken coop fence. So maybe four more. I saw some plums that were zoned for us. Oh, that's perfect, Bar. So this one needs to get in the ground and have some water right away. Well, put the pot in to see. That's how you tell. This is a semi-dwarf, and as you can see by all those colored tags, it is four different kinds of apples. See, that's perfect, bro. It is four different kinds of apples. It is a semi-dwarf gala, a Brayburn, a Fuji. What's this? A dwarf something something. So it's one, two, three... Four kinds of apple. Don't take those tags off. Yeah, Jonah Gold. So it's four kinds of apple. Oh wait, what's this? And that's a Granny Smith. So it's a it's one of those things that have had different apple trees grafted onto a stock. So go ahead, bro. Just set the roots. In. Yeah, and then pack the dirt in, and grab some water before you pack the final soil in and water the whole. Don't not too not too deep or you'll you'll smother the trunk. You bury the trunk too much, it'll su suffocate. I don't know if you can see this, folks, but it's Mother's Day, and we've got wet snow falling. <laughs> 